Court documents released in the Penn State sexual abuse case shed fresh light on how long people at the university may have known about Jerry Sandusky's abuse. A transcript from a man who said he was abused in 1976 shows the man going to Joe Paterno, the famed football coach at the time, back in 1976. And Paterno, he says, rebuffed him, callously saying, I can't hear about abuse right now. I've got a football season to focus on. The documents also showed that football coaches who worked with Paterno may have known about Sandusky's abuse in the 1980s. Tom Bradley and Greg Schiano, two people who have gone on to big defensive coaching jobs at major universities, UCLA and Ohio State. These documents say they knew about abuse in the 80s and the 90s. In one instance, Bradley was told that Sandusky was abusing a boy at a football team facility. In another instance, Schiano may have walked in on Sandusky and a boy in the shower. Bradley's lawyer says they're reviewing the documents and that a lot of the allegations are hard to believe. Shiano has not responded to the AP's uh, request for comment. Penn State President Eric Barron says that while there may have been settlements with Sandusky's accusers, that doesn't necessarily mean that people at Penn State knew about the abuse decades ago. And Joe Paterno's family, they maintain that the first time he learned of Sandusky's abuse was in 2001 when assistant coach Mike McQuarrie went to his home and said that he saw Jerry Sandusky in the shower with a boy.